for example, here. So by putting, uh, by, by introducing interaction on this topological flat band, uh, one can imagine that there can be a, a local state, for example, uh, or, or in general, the fractional topological insulators. Uh, but the question is actually if you do actually these, those calculations and uh, you'll, uh, you'll get the ground state, but how can you identify the open state like this? So, for example, one can imagine that uh, uh, one can compute uh, something like uh, maybe by the sun number and Donna Sheng and his coll uh, her collaborators have uh, thought about this and by using some kind of twisted boundary conditions, they devised a way of computing the uh, many by the sun number. And this is the result, and uh, it's, uh, it takes some time to explain, but basically they have computed the uh, very curvature in the space of a uh, twist angle, and this uh, slope tells us the very uh, phase or, or chun number. And this slope is one third, in the case of one third uh, fraction chun insulators, and one fifth fraction, uh, one -fifth fraction chun insulators. But at the end of the day, basically, this is a consequence of the uh, triple digits of the ground state. Why? Because uh, actually, to understand this, uh, one has to go to the gauge argument for the quantum hole resistance, which was developed by uh, Lofting. And this is the, uh, uh, his argument. And uh, uh, to understand the quantum hole resistance, he thought about ribbon. And, uh, uh, and and the Gedanken experiment where the test flux is inserted through the through the center of the ribbon. And uh, from the classical ENM, uh, one can re realize that the magnetic moment of this system is given by, uh, given by this formula. And another change due to the test flux it can be given by this one and combine these two, one can uh, identify the current as this quantity. And now, uh, by applying uh, uh, external magnetic perpendicular uh, to the ribbon, uh, one can have eigenstate, which is Gaussian uh, along this direction. So there is Gaussian packets and, and plane wave along the y direction. And now, in this situation, one, if one insert the test blocks, uh, uh, test blocks kicks, uh, introduces kicks in the momentum along the y direction, which is uh, along the circumference of the ribbon and introduces the momentum change. Therefore, the Gaussian wave packet moves one unit of this direction. And by having the test flux, which is exactly one flux quantum, then the discussion wave packet moves just one unit. And now, if there are n non-reversal the field, then the n electrons are transferred from one end to the other. Therefore, n difference is n times EV. And by combining uh, these two formula, the whole resistance can be shown to be this number. So what this tells us is that uh, in order to have a fraction quantized whole effect, the uh, actually uh, fractional number of electrons should be transferred after one flux quantum uh, insertion. So now this uh, gave you an idea of uh, tau dollar state and tau and tau uh, have, uh, have wondered how can we have fraction quantization because some number is a unity. And to have fraction quantization, uh, one has to have a triple degeneracy, which is this uh, degeneracy of the ground state, which is given by this three state. And actually, there is a this ribbon uh, in, uh, enlarged along the x direction. And there are three uh, triple degeneracy state, and one is occupied, empty, empty, occupied, empty, empty. And the other two state is empty, occupied, empty, and so on. And this can be thought as 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, or 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And this is tau tau state, and this can be regarded as a generalized power state. Unfortunately, this is this cannot be the ground state in 2D because there are lots of uh, fluctuation, quantum fluctuations. And but it can be shown that this can be exact state in the thin uh, transmit due to the suppression of quantum fluctuations. Now, uh, because of this idea, uh, Renu and Bonavik and they actually performed the uh, exact variation. Uh, for the fractional uh, fraction uh, fraction band, and they were indeed uh, found that there are triple digit ground state manifold, and they actually form the, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, winding uh, as a function of uh, flux insertion. Uh, this is good and all, but this is uh, 2D, not in the intro limit, so there are lots of uh, quantum fluctuations. 
So one may wonder to, if, do we, if we really have a toddlers in the Tintoros League. So to answer this question, the same authors actually performed the uh, uh, exercise in the Tintoros limit. But unfortunately, uh, what they found is, uh, is negative in the sense that energy gap is so small, 10 to the minus 7 or 6, so therefore it can be uh, easily wiped out by any kinds of perturbation. So this is uh, negative. Uh, and worse, actually, the triple genus can arise even in the triple trigger, trigger event. So in fact, this uh, paper was not published and it's in the, in the, only in the archive. So actually, uh, in, our, uh, in our work, we have thought about some kind of hybrid idea path, which does not go directly take the, which does not directly take the dintrosmith, or rather uh, having a, a detour. So for example, we have uh, this uh, uh, rectangular system, and then X and Y, and then there is a, we can deform the interaction from near sniper to prolong. And this is a reserve, our reserve, our reserve, our reserve, and these first four figures, uh, panels, A, B, C, D, comes from the nearest neighbor interaction, and by changing the aspect ratio from square, close to square, to the thin force limit, and bottom four is for the Coulomb interaction, and again, uh, by stretching the system, we go from uh, square light to the thin force limit. So, as I said, if, I, if you just take the uh, naive interest limit in the nearest neighbor interaction, the gap loss uh, collapses. So, uh, our outline is that first go from nearest neighbor interaction to the uh, Coulomb interaction, and then uh, take the thin force limit. By doing, uh, by doing this, uh, we can go from, from here to here without closing gap uh, and go to directly to the thin force limit, the total state. And that's, and that's very good. good. And actually, uh, to confirm, actually, this is the total state, we'd like to uh, actually compute the overlap between total state and the uh, and, uh, uh, exact ground, long ground state. And total state is one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero, zero, that kind of state. So now we have to uh, be able to identify the proper basis. So proper basis, uh, uh, so we'd like to, uh, uh, I'd like to mention about the uh, Shalom's idea about topological basis, uh, which is hybrid wave function, uh, which is this one, and I don't have time for the details, but basically uh, this is, this basis behave very similar to lambda Eigenstate, state, which is the plane wave on one direction and the Gaussian wave packet in another direction, and the packet center position is correlated with the uh, momentum in the perpendicular direction. So if you change the momentum in perpendicular direction, then the center position moves on the side wave. That's exactly the under state. But we are not going to use uh, uh, that wave function. Uh, actually, instead, we'd like to uh, construct the basis by using topological one step later eigenstate, which is uh, basically the same state, but there is a, a system way, way of generating the state by thinking about actually applying the fictitious electric field along certain directions. And I don't want to go into this, but uh, uh, if you solve this uh, Hamiltonian, stark Hamiltonian, one can get this eigenstate, which is exactly the same as the shallow cis wave function, and one can do the same thing. But there is an added benefit, which is that the wave function, wave packet, and uh, the packet of the wave, the width of the wave packet can be tuned by changing the electrical strengths. And by taking the infinite, uh, to the strong electric field limit, we can recover the shallow cis uh, basis. In any case, by using this, one can also show that there is a topological winding, and this behavior is exactly like a hybrid one uh, one function. Actually, this is the, this might be the uh, punch uh, slide, punch line of my talk. So basically, this shows the overlap between the tau dollar state and the Coulomb interaction. And remember, there are three per degenerate ground state manifold. So one has to find overlap in a proper way. So therefore, there are, I have a triple state and I have a triple state. So uh, this is the, how I compute the overlap between this triple state and the overlap between one guy from one side and uh, the other three. And then you, we take the average of all, all, all three. So without further ado, this is a result and this is the overlap a uh, total state with exact ground state as a function of aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is defined this way, and I, I, I make a thin torsion. 
So by, uh, by taking this, and this, uh, I'm comparing the overlap calculation in the fraction chain later in the lattice and with the fraction of quantum core state in the continuum limit with the actual magnetic field. And the solid line show the uh, stretch of the fraction quantum core effect uh, at the same system for 10 system and 8 system. And for the same particle number, I diagonalize the same system and get the uh, 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 total state and the uh, exact ground state in the lattice model. And I'm showing the comparison between the two. And it shows that the fraction translator case exactly resembles the fraction quantum world state. So therefore, uh, this is behave exactly like the fraction quantum system. And not only that, uh, this in the limit of uh, uh, the limit where the RA goes to infinity, the total state is the state. And there's a uh, unit of that. OK, that's very good. And actually, because of this uh, bolstered by this evidence, one can Compute, uh, uh, one can try, try to construct lambda lambda state, lambda state uh, uh, by in, in incorporating quantum fluctuations. And actually, quantum fluctuations can be thought as translating the Lofland state uh, to the lattice model. So, how do I do that? And uh, this is Lofland state in the symmetric case, and this is the exact ground state of Hallenshield potential V1 non zero potential, which is basically uh, uh, essentially the same as we construct the long potential. And therefore, one can construct the lambda level, lambda uh, state, state by diagonalizing full interaction in the lambda range. So this is the uh, coefficients for a given particular set of bases in the lambda gauge. And then by taking the basis mapping from lambda eigenstate to the one stellar eigenstate, to plus one stellar eigenstate I mentioned, I can just use the same coefficient from here to there, and I just change the basis. And actually, there are some uh, technical details about uh, gauge fixing, but I'm not going to details. But by doing this, I can construct so-called chun Lofton state. And this chun Lofton state, uh, also, I, also I, can, I can compute uh, uh, this overlap between chun Lofton state and the exact prolonged state, just like I did for the uh, uh, total state. So in this case, uh, uh, okay, so uh, focus on this uh, end point where the, this elective field, field is a uh, fictitious strength of elective field, field, where the basis is a uh, maximum of price. The, the tau dollar state, uh, the overlap is here. But in the thin torus case, the overlap between tau dollar's overlap and chun open state overlap is the same. Basically, quantum fluctuation is very small. But in 2D limit, quantum fluctuation is uh, plays a lot of lower. So that the uh, 2D work total loss is this low, but by introducing quantum fluctuations, overlap become this uh, increase this much. Uh, okay, I don't want to get go to this as about the behavior as a function of electric field. Just focus on this. So basically, I'm sorry I uh, didn't have much time to explain all the details. But basically, uh, I'd like to conclude. So in view of the evolution from integer quantum function quantum effect. The next research frontier of fraction topology later is what happens in the fractional field topology of left band. And a pressing question is if there is a lattice analog of local state in the one to the sun band, sun to left band, and uh, the existence of other path from fraction change later to the part of the state can be used as an effective order parameter to the chun local state. And this has been demonstrated by devising a piecewise hybrid adaptive path, first deforming the interaction and taking the thin torsion. And this can be extended to other fraction topological initiated states and other fin factors for general, general uh, fin factors of the chain sequence. And thank you very much.